Greetings guys, it's Irish here. So, last couple days I've been playing with Void Linux as a potential uh, replacement for my one of my Gen 2 machines. So, I've gotten a lot of stuff um, figured out. I did run into some issues and I am currently still having some issues, but I'll get to that in a bit. But uh, for those who don't know, Void is relatively new. I think it was created back in 2014 and one of the maintainers or developers from NetBSD developed it. So their package manager is called XBPS and it was supposed to be a replacement for package source which is from NetBSD. So I'll try to show you so I'm going to open up XFCE terminal really quick so just to give you a bit of a demonstration so to sync the mirrors you would say sudo xbps install dash s and put in password and then this will sync my current mirror that I have right here now to install any updates that I should have I just do an S U and this is very so this will update again um, and it doesn't look like I have any updates this is a rolling distribution which is very good I, again I I believe I installed this on Monday and I've been playing with it the last couple of nights Monday or Tuesday so to install something so or okay let's start from the beginning to search for something you would do xbps dash query dash r capital r s we'll say let's look for the ranger uh right there as you can see there's the ranger 1.9.1 dash one so to install this you'd say x B P S dash install and then you could do a capital S or you can just say Ranger. Oh, I forgot to put sudo. And then it will show up. Disk space and now it is installed. So to run it and say Ranger and there we go. Uh, to remove it say if I wanted to remove Ranger to say sudo xbps dash remove Ranger and yes so those are the basic stuff but uh, let's go to their website so I have Firefox installed it is pretty fast the package manager is pretty quick and the boot up process is very cool um, their init system is uh, called run it and I'll show that to you in a little bit I, again this is not going to be much of a, a, a void review a void Linux review I'm just showing you what I've learned in these last few days and I will get to the it the stuff that I've been having issues with so if we go to Google here say void Linux so uh, it's, this is a completely fresh uh, Linux distribution so they did this uh, not based on anything else uh, their init system is run it and again I will show that to you uh, but we'll go into the wiki so in the wiki you can do the installation process right here you can do the basic one UEFI via Chirut LVM Lux which I kinda like because I have done those in the past with Arch Linux and with Gentoo but uh, I'm going to go to the XBPS and I'll show you a little bit what's going on here so if we go down I did show some of this stuff already so so to install a single package or a list of packages you just say the XBPS install dash s 
uh, the querying, the removing. To remove a single package, you can do a dash R, and then to synchronize your repository database and update your system to the SU. So there really isn't anything. Uh, no updates right now. So XBPS query. Uh, and then you can have different repositories. So I'm going to try one of the packages that I need to try to see if I can get. So I'm going to try to install. Uh, let's go back really quick. So I'm going to try to install Spotify here. So what I need to do is bring up a terminal, say sudo xbps-install void repo non-free. So that's a, one of the repos that I can get. So now what I can do, say xbs install dash su and then Spotify. And then hopefully this downloads and everything. So as you can see on the right, this is RxVT Unicode. Uh, I've been running this for at least four or five years now. And I have, I use the SCP uh, secure copy from my laptop that I have my Gen 2 on to this computer. Um, so I have the X resources file and I have Compton installed. And yet it doesn't have transparency. Uh, it should be showing different colors and it should be showing the background here. So like that. Um, so that's one of the issues that I'm running into. So let's see if... So it does look like it uh, failed to download Spotify client. Well, that's a shame. Let's uh, try it one more time. So if we go back to the terminal here, which is the XFCE terminal. If I go into Edit, Preferences, Appearance, I have the background transparency. Huh. Interesting now, now that it's showing. It did show in big bold red letters saying that my window manager didn't support transparency. Which I wonder now if I log out and log back in, everything would be working again so I'll give that a shot next time um, see if this worked okay okay let's see if this works so Spotify so this should pop up so I wonder if it failed the first time or not this does take a while the other thing that I've been having a bit of an issue with uh, is getting my, uh, I don't know if it's the computer itself, I highly doubt it, because it worked when I had Arch Linux and Slackware on this machine, but I plugged in a USB under here, and it is not, uh, so if I go Thunar, it's not showing up, and I do have Udisky installed. So I don't know if it's possibly uh, they do they do have console kit. So I don't know if I need that or something similar in uh, Gentoo where I have to say CK session blah 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 blah. I don't think so, but I may test that out and I'll let you guys know in the next video uh, if that actually works or not. But uh, so. It's, I haven't tried this yet, but there's another package manager, for the most part, called XBPS Source. Now, if you can't find a certain package in their main repos, you can build it yourself, which is really cool. And it looks, for the most part, even more simplistic 
like make package on Arch Linux. Uh, again, I've only been on this for a few days now, and it still feels very much like Arch Linux uh, feel. So I'm going to say Neo Fetch so that they have their own thing here, which is kind of cool. But uh, let me see if I can search for XPPS query dash rs screen fetch because I searched for that first and then find it oh and that's the other thing that I've been running into is their package being called differently so I couldn't find font awesome like in any other uh, like Arch Linux and Gentoo if I just say screen fetch it, it would work fine but I apparently under void Linux I have to do a capital F. Same thing when I went to uh, search for font awesome. I had to do one of these things and it showed up where in the other package managers I didn't have to do that so that's very very strange but um, yeah I installed my GPU, my Intel, my terminal. Uh, the only thing I haven't been able to get I even have my WeChat open here. See that I'm in a bunch of them, 17 rooms. Uh, the only thing, again, haven't been able to get is the transparency like that. And uh, you can ignore this error. I do have the Z, uh, Z shell syntax highlighting. Uh, in another different location so I just have to change that in my uh, Z shell RC file so to change the mirrors um, I actually went into the the void Linux main IRC channel and one of the guys there who was helping out gave me the best mirror for my area but again on their main site when I go back to the XBS wiki article here, it's um. Let's see if I can get to it really quick. Synchronizing remote. Is this it? There is a different list of repos that you could see right here. Uh, in Los Angeles, Germany, Dallas, but I live in the Chicagoland area and it's not on here. So he gave me a different one, which I still don't know where he found it. But if you go to the USR share xbps.d ls, you see that 00 repository main.conf. So if we take a look in there, this is the current repo that I'm using. So by default, they have their own default uh, repo that you have, and you can change it. So I changed it to the US mirrors. I'm sure they have different other mirrors that's not listed under this article. But they have the glibc and the musil, which I've never heard of before. But I think this is definitely a good contender for the replacement of my either my laptop or my desktop uh, Gen 2 for when you know the baby does come. So so far there's not as many updates like in Arch Linux or in yeah just pretty much in Arch Linux there there's always just a barrage of updates so every day so that's nice that they have somewhat of a testing. I'm sure they do have a testing repository where I could get um, up more up-to-date like in Arch Linux there's the testing repo um, and even in Gentoo there's the AMD64 which is Gentoo testing so but so far I'm liking this I'm gonna see if I can get my USB stick to work and to see if I can get 
transparency because if I can get uh, any of those then I should be all set uh, I do for I did forget about one of the initial issues that I ran into when I first installed it so during the installation it's pretty quick it's you can install this thing within three minutes so when they asks you for like if you want to do local or internet I tried to use my Wi-Fi, but it would not hold. So I did the local uh, USB stick, which had everything you need to get Void up and running. But once you're done with that, if you have Wi-Fi, you have to do something very similar to, like if you have the Gentoo ISO, you have to play around with... WPA supplicant and that was a bit confusing at first but once you get WPA supplicant you can get network manager gnome uh, keyring gnome icons all that so this is a build-it-yourself kind of distro their documentation isn't uh, there just yet but what little documentation they have it's very excellent so this is not for the new user. I suggest if you have like six months to a year experience with it, you should be able to uh, do it. If you've come from Gen 2 or any of the higher end Slackware, Arch Linux, you should be able. You you'll be fine with it. Uh, again, this is very simple stuff that I've just set up today. Didn't does not take me long. I have MPV uh, working. I have WeChat working. I'm in my Z shell. So yeah, I'm gonna maybe keep this on for another couple weeks and uh, we'll try to make a final conclusions type of video uh, once if, if I decide yes or no on it. So, But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to play over the weekend with BSPWM and trying to help SoCan, a uh, fellow subscri or a subscriber of mine, with getting Conky to go on the side. Uh, he has found an alternative, which, which is good, but I'm going to see if I can try to, you know, get it the regular way. So hopefully you guys have a good night, and I will talk to you later.